yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and this is the uh, Fletcher clean architecture with the river part uh, project over here we will be building a Flutter application using the clean architecture with the Flutter river part over here and this is not a beginner code so if you are a complete beginner or if you are not uh, familiar with the Flutter as well as the river part over here then this course is not for you so this is really not a beginner friendly course and if you want to learn some basic concept make sure to go and check out my other courses over here and you should be good to go with that one but for this particular course it is required to have some Fletcher development experience maybe a six months one year or even more than that would be good and also the um, the river pod or the knowledge of the river pod is required and if you are not sure about how to use the Flutter River Pod, make sure to go and check out my course on that one. I have a full course regarding the Flutter River Pod as well. And um, that's just the um, thing that you have to know about this. That is the pre-request for this particular course. So let us get started and welcome to the Flutter Clean Architecture course with the Flutter River Pod. So let's meet up in the next one. Till then, have a great day let us continue with our lesson over here so the next step we will go to our repository over here and let's create the new file and i'll create the interface first of all over here that will be i sign underscore the up and that will be of the i sign up underscore the repo s-i-t-o-r-y repository right dot the dot file let's just copy this and also i need to create a new one that will be of the sign up repository which will be of the concrete class and now let's go to the i sign up over here and let's just go and create the uh, abstract class first of all abstract the interface which is of the pure interface that we want to create and then the class and that will be of the i sign up uh, repository over here and we'll just go and create a one a new uh, method over here but the abstract method that will be of the future and then the sign up and the written type each of uh, the sign up uh, sign up response and let's just import this one and then the type or the parameters that we need to pass in is the type is of the sign up request over here and now once uh, we have this interface created let's go over here and i'll just create the i guess i'll just create the final uh, class over here and that will be of the sign up uh, repository over here and this is going to uh, implement since we have the interface and this is going to implement it from the i sign up uh, repository which is our interface and we need to override the um, the abstract method that we have let's just go and implement that one and let's just go and remove this one and now from here we need to call our uh, endpoint over here right so how we can do that is let's go back over here and the first thing that is we are going to require our the sign up uh, api over here and I'll just go and create the uh, private variable over here. Okay, so sorry for that. It should not be over here. So let's just go and try to arrange this one. So I need I need to create a sign up API as a local variable, and also I will require the uh, final. And this will be of the okay. So in the source, if you go to the remote, we have the sign up uh, API, and then we have uh, in the local we haven't set up anything uh, so let's just give it as a, a simple one so let's just make use of the sign up uh, api for now and later if we need a local storage access we'll create a one new file for that one uh, but for now let's just keep it as a simple and we just require the sign up api for now and once we have the sign up api uh, what i will do over here i'll just go and create the uh, try catch block over here and in the try catch block what we'll do is let's just go 
and add okay so let's just go and make this one as the asynchronous function over here and i'll let's just go and the final response over here we are going to get a response and then we need to just pass in the uh, sign up api dot the sign up and pass in the sign up request that we are receiving as the uh, prompts over here and then this is going to return us the sign up response over here and now what i will do is i'll just go and return from here that particular response and here we are going to catch some errors so i'll just go and catch the do error first of all so if this is a do exception cast the type of the e and um, i guess um, i'll just go and read through for now because we are not doing any error handling over here later uh, we will see that uh, how we can actually go and handle the error properly once we learn uh, once we learn the proper error handling over here in a different layer of our architecture over here but for now i'll just go and catch and rethrow that particular error for now and i'll just go and make this one as the uh, private or let's just go and remove that and just go and say the underscore because we haven't used that one so i'll just go and remove that and in case later if i require it i'll just bring it back over here and uh, once we have this particular sign up over here and if you go back over here this is going to return us the user information over here like the id name email the uh, role and then the auth type over here so that should be good enough and uh, what we have to do is we need to create the provider so if you can remember uh, that we need to create the provider for this one and for the provider we will say this is the sign up and then the repusi to your repository provider and we need to import the flutter report and then the type for this one the provider written type will be of the i sign up repository we don't want to have a type as a concrete class but we want to have our the interface over there and now what i need to pass is the sign up api and currently we don't have that and uh, we haven't created that previously i guess yeah so what i will do over here is i'll just go and create the provider provider over here as well and this will be of the sign up api provider and let's just go and import this one and since we haven't created the uh, any interface let's just go and make use of the abstract and since it's an abstract class we can also go and construct this one over here and now we need to provide the do so if you can remember where we have created do previously if you go to the uh, core data and in the our remote section we have the network service and this is what we require over here and make sure you replace this one with your correct uh, domain name that we have generated previously so make sure to pass in over here we can also create the env and pass it over here but this, uh, we are not going to use env for now and we'll just hard code it over here so uh let's go and grab that one final and then the i'll just go and call this one as the do and this will be of the network service provider so let's just go and import that and i'll just go and copy this and uh, paste it over here that should be good enough i guess so now we have the sign up api provider and let's go back over here and i need to grab that one which will be of the uh, sign up api and i guess that should be fine and from here i'll just go and return on these that should be good enough so now we have our repository ready and this is just going to do one single task for now which is to sign up the user over here so currently we have set up our dto and then we have our the data source which is of whether we are going to make use of the local or the remote and then we have the repository and in the repository we have set up the proper dependency that is to make use of the api call and uh, from here we are just going to return the uh, sign up response 
next we need to work on the different layer over here for now don't worry about creating and working with a different layer once we complete once i complete all of the layer in our sign up feature over here then i'm going to explain each of the layer uh, for you but for now uh, let's just do it practically so uh, we will keep continuing uh, creating a different layer over here and i may explain a bit but at the end i mean i'm going to explain you all of the layer then why we created that particular layer and all of the stuff over here and if you want to um, learn more uh, in a deep lesson i like if you want to go deeper in, into the clean architecture and solid principles and all of those things you can just go and check out my course in my website over here uh, which is of the flutter master class over here the we i have a two session for this one one is master class one and then the master class two over here and over here if you go to the section you will learn uh, you have a whole section about the clean architecture and then the class modifier object oriented programming you have the solid principle which is the must to have to learn about the clean architecture and uh, about the concurrency and then the parallelism in the dart programming and also we have a section of creating different kind of the river pod and we have section to set up all of the project like setting up the flavors code signing for ios android uh, setting up the different environment uh, linting logging and all of this stuff over here and i have the whole section on the fibers integration as well like push notification crash analytics and um, like the performance fibers performance remote config and all of this information this uh, is the much more deeper uh, you will get much more deeper if you take this particular course but it's not required so if you want to learn more just go and check out this one uh, this is go to the course if you want to be a job ready flutter developer because you need to understand the op concept solid principle concurrency and parallelism and all of this stuff to and make use of the clean architecture properly so that's all and uh, we will meet up in the next one till then have a great day